Hello and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. So in this video, I just thought I would do a quick run through my indoor growing space here and give you some updates on stuff that I have started and stuff that I am planning to get started. Um, these are my petunias that I had started in my grow light box. And I think I did a quick uh, short video also of me transplanting these into these cells here. So it's only been a couple weeks and these things are thriving under the lights. Um, I was hoping that I would be able to just keep them in these containers until uh, they're ready to plant outside. But I think by the looks of some of these, they are going to have to get um, separated again. So I'm pretty happy um, that I've had success with growing these petunias from seed. Um, I also had done a video on growing some ornamental grasses that I started in this muffin container. And these are doing well as, um, doing good as well. I have little tiny cuts in the bottom of these uh, cells so that I can just bottom water. And I may have to thin them out as they get a bit bigger, but um, they're pretty slow growing. So I'm hoping that um, I can keep them in this container as long as possible. I still have a couple cracky method things on the go here and I wanted to share those as well. I started strawberry seeds from uh, or strawberries from seed using the crack key method. So I'll just pull one out here to show you. So these were very slow to start as well. Um, so once these roots finally hit that water full of hydroponic nutrients, these strawberries really took off. You can see there's some good growth here. So I think I'm going to trans or move these into a bigger um, container of water and nutrients and hopefully move them outdoors this spring and and get some strawberries early in the season. And I still have a batch of tomatoes going here in my arrow garden. These are just a dwarf, a um, couple different dwarf type tomatoes. As you can see, I have a good branch of cherry sized tomatoes here that should be ripening pretty soon. So once these are finished um, off, I will probably shut down the arrow garden until next fall, but excited to still get some um, fresh tomatoes early in the season. Over here, I have a, quite a bunch of coleuses going here. These are um, a couple kinds of coleuses I grew outdoors in my pots last year. I took two, two little cuttings, one of each of these kinds last fall and I've been multiplying them into many more little plants here and they are doing really well. I have even more upstairs in my kitchen. They just make a nice house plant during the winter as well. So I will have lots of these to put into my containers um, this late in the spring when it warms up outside. And here's my grow box that I've um, started the petunias in and I just released a video on my um, strawberries and eucalyptus and what was the other thing? Impatience. So I haven't seen any sprouting yet. They've been in this grow box under the lights for about a week. So I'm hoping to see some uh, sprouts here coming pretty soon. So here is a look at what I have left for space for starting my indoor seedlings. And I'm very excited that I still have lots of lots of space left because still I have a lot of things I want to start indoors. So I have a, a shelf here, um, one with a couple clamp lights here, and then another one at the bottom with two LED lights and another one here with some LED lights. So still lots of space so far. And I'm just getting things set up to do some more seed starting. I'll be filming that video later today and hopefully it will have it on the channel in the next few days. Going to start some onions and celery and some lupins. So stay tuned for that video coming soon. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this update on what's going on in my indoor gardening here and I will love to hear your comments. Please hit the like button if you haven't already done so. Please subscribe 
and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.